Okay, we are reading today Vilapa Kusmanjali. Yeah, hold on. Verse 49. It's about Prashad. Today is about Prashad Seva, Prashad Leela, and meaning yeah, of Prashad. So it's very... Uh, very Which sweet. verse? Uh, mm -hmm. 49, 49. 49. Yeah. Should I start with a? Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah. Oh, Kunkumangi, girl whose body shines like vermilion. When will I carefully serve you the many kinds of remnants left by Krishna? that are like an elixir of the quint essence of nectar, mixed with other eatables and drinks, as you sit down, surrounded by Lalita and other girlfriends. Oh, Kunkumangi, girl whose body shines like vermilion, when will I carefully serve you the many kinds of remnants left by Krishna that are like an elixir of the quintessence of nectar mixed with other eatables and drinks as you sit down surrounded by Lalita and other girlfriends. This is the meditation. Just I start. After that, all others will share, Jananda Maharaj will share. Just I start. This is a meditation when Radha Rani is eating and how she eats. She eat only with the friends. First thing is, many are eating and don't eat, but she always eat, and the dasi also eat like this. Our Radhika is never eat alone. So, when we eat alone, is Atma, Atma Sukhai, means my happiness, what I like, I eat. And what she eats? The remnants of Krishna. What he eats? From that, the sakis and manjiris and the danistika, they are collecting and put, uh, arranging for Radha Rani. We'll never eat without remnants of Krishna. So she collects for Radha Rani. What means she has wished to serve Krishna, but for her, important the prasad of Krishna. She, when she cooks varieties for Krishna, for her taking is the only from the mouth of Krishna. That she takes. In a transcendental vision. Meaning, this is the deep meaning because how to improve my senses 
one pointedness to serve. Eating is also one thing. What we eat, we have to care for. The Majiris eat the reverence of Radhika. It comes from Krishna, Radharani, and then three things. Nice, good. In a transcendental vision, Sri Raghunath sees Swamini's sweet Bhojana Leela, the eating pastimes. Tulsi has brought Shyam's Hadaramrita, the lip nectar, his food remnants. Even a little piece, a fiber of Madana Mohana's Hadaramrita is Sukriti Labia Fela Lava were only attainable by a lot of pious merit. Krishna's food remnants are called Fela, Pela, and anyone who gets even a fiber of it is very lucky. These remnants are not available through ordinary luck. Only a person who has gotten Krishna's full mercy gets it. The word Sukriti here means merit, which is attained by Krishna's personal mercy. A person who gets this Pela is greatly fortunate. This prashad is relishable according to one's amount of love for Krishna. Amount of love. There are how much amount of love is there? We this. Hadarani loves Krishna the most, and therefore she also relishes his prashad to the utmost. <laughs> oh, Saki, this Madame Mohan increases the yearning of my tongue. A quote from Govinda Lila Mrita. How, Swamini? Relishes this nectar is best understood from Chaitanya Charitamrita, Antya Lila, chapter 16, which describes how Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Sri Mate Radhika's mood relishes Lord Jagannath's Prashadam at Jagannath Puri, named Gopala Vallabha. This is a quote now from Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Tasting these dishes that were millions of time more relishable than nectar, the Lord became astonished. He had goose pimples of ecstasy all over his body and tears of love flowed from his eyes. He thought to himself, where has such a delicious food come from? Krishna's lip nectar is infused in it. Mahaprabhu tasted or relished a little bit of this food and then told Govinda to tie the rest in the end of his dhoti and take it along. The whole day, Mahaprabhu was deeply absorbed in Krishna's Adharamrita. When the evening came, one star-like devotee after the other came to surround the golden Bahura moon, and the stream of Krishna Katha took its rise. 
on the Lord's indication, Govinda began to distribute the prasad that he kept in his dhoti to everyone present. The Lord then began to explain the glories of Prashad. He said, these ingredients like cane sugar, camphor, black pepper, cardamom, cloves, ghee, spices and licorice are all material. Everyone has tasted them before. But now... These dishes have an extraordinary taste and fragrance. Everyone should taste it and experience the difference. What to speak of the taste, even the fragrance is maddening and makes one forget all other sweetnesses but its own. This is still Mahaprabhu uh, talking. The nectar of Krishna's lips have touched it and has infused the qualities of these lips in the food. The attributes of Krishna's lips are greatly intoxicating and the extraordinary fragrance and taste make one forget all other experiences. Just as Sri Radhika secretly relishes the nectar of Krishna's lips with the sakis, Mahaprabhu relished this nectar in secret with Swarup, Damoda, and Sri Ramananda. O hero, listen to the nature of your lips. They agitate the body and mind increase lusty desires and destroy all other sentiments like joy and sorrow. They make one forget all other flavors. They control the whole world and destroy saintly qualities such as shyness, religiousness and patience. They madden the minds of the women, attract the tongue and turn all situations upside down. This may be the work of women, but I am ashamed to say that your lips are so bold that they even attract your flute, which is man. They make it drink as much nectar as they like and make it forget all other flavors. What to speak of conscious beings? They make even unconscious being conscious. Your lips are great magicians. Your flute is just a dry piece of wood, but your lips give it a mind and senses and make it drink themselves. This flute is a bold male who drinks the lips of another male, telling the gopis, oh gopis, listen, drink your property by force if you think you can. Then the flute angrily told me, give up your shame, fear and religion and come to drink the nectar of Krishna's lips. On that condition, I shall give them up. If you don't give up your attachment to virtue, I will keep on drinking it forevermore. I am a little afraid of you, gopis, for you may have the power to compete with me, but all others I consider to be no more than blades of grass. This was the flute speaking. The flute was speaking to Krishna in Chaitanya Taitamrita. Oh, listen to the manners of these lips and other injustice. 
everything that is touched by these lips, like food and drinks, becomes just like nectar and is called Krishna Veda. Even the demigods cannot get one drop of this. Who can fathom the pride of this Veda? By performing pious activities for many births, one becomes known as a virtuous man. And such a person may get a fiber of this failure. Okay, yes, Kishori Dasi. Sorry. So this is how Mahaprabhu was relishing uh, with Sri Swarup Damodar and Ramananda Roy. This is mostly in Sakiba. But now comes the, we come back to Srimati Hari. Fortunate Tulsi makes Bhavamai and her sakis relish Krishna's lip nectar. The devotees will be consoled by the remembrance of his pastimes. The all-enchanting nature of Radhika's names, forms, qualities, and pastimes cause the experience of sweetness. And this takes the consciousness forwards. The forms, qualities, and pastimes of the beloved deity then becomes the quintessence of a devotee's life. Absorbed in experiencing Shyama Sundara's sweetness, Sri Lila Shuka told him in Krishna Karanamrita, O oh Lord, you are my giver of love, the fulfiller of my desires, the bestower of devotional knowledge, and the treasure of my heart. You and no one else are my life and my fate. To this Sri Krishna said, Very well, Lila Shuka, very well. I have become very pleased with your loyalty to me. My darshan will never be in vain for you. Please pray for a boon to me. Then Leela Shuka prayed for the following boon. May our words be increased by your sweetness. May you increase the stream of our thoughts so that we will be able to remember the sweetness of your naughty adolescence. The words of the Achayas are the support for the weak devotees. They will remove the bodily consciousness and bring them a deep spiritual consciousness in which they can relish the sweetness of Shishi, Radha and Mahal. Tulasi says, Oh, Konkumangi, I will serve you different kinds of nectarian food and drinks while you assemble with your girlfriends to taste the nectar of Krishna's lips. Swamini's bodily luster now resembles fresh kumkuma from Kashmir, touched with some sandal plates. It is a reddish glow that comes out from within her, showing her heart's passion for cushion. Passion is symbolized by red color. That is why Tulasi calls her Kunkumangi here. Shribangi Bihari Vidyalankara says, 
Her body turned gray because of waiting for Krishna's meal. And to conceal this grayness, she is anointed with kumkuma. In each dish, Swamini tastes the nectar of Krishna's lips. When Swamini tastes Krishna's nectarian food remnants, it is as if she touches his lips directly. Because the food has taken all their qualities. The maidservants feed Krishna Premon Mardini. This is the name of Shimadika. She who is mad with love for Krishna, Radhika, who remembers so many pastimes she had with Krishna at that time. She closes her eyes in half when she is immersed in such sweet remembrance. It is as if she is drifting somewhere else. The kinkaris make her relish according to her feelings. Lalita and the Sakis also help her to enter the Shyam Ocean by joking with her about her divine pastimes with Krishna. What is meaning of Shyam Ocean? Now, now she is taking prasad. How you will explain this? She is balancing Shyam Ocean. She is actually in, in, in the Raman with him, the Sham Ocean. That's what I would say, Gurudev. She remembers all the past times that it took place because for her, Prashad of Krishna um, is, a, is, is, she goes fully into the past times that happened before and whatever happened. This is the thing that this prasad make him more feeling to remember all the time like a wave in ocean is moving in that wave. Eating at the same time, she lose her consciousness to be there. She is with the Sham Raman, like you say. The mind, you see, mind is too so fixed that. Uh, We don't know externally what is happening, eating and going more and more in ecstasy, in the waves of meditation, of the taste of prashad. Ah. And the kinkari school day, this also I like. They are serving by making her remember. They are serving her moods and her desire to, to go into this, you know, what, whatever is in her heart, in her relationship. Line is, line is beautiful, line is. The kinkaris make her relish according to her feelings. Yeah, that the point. A deep, a deep according point. to the feelings of the Radhika means how they are so close 
that she feel according to her feelings what goes after this what which feeling she is living that feeling manjari she and that according to that feeling she increase that the beauty of manjari according to her feelings this is manjari sir according to not my will my desire i serve you according to the, your feeling what you desire i want to serve you now krishna jutan means that Adamita. We offer also as a Krishna devotee to Krishna. That feeling is important in that service. I What do you mean, Rudi? When we offer offer any boga to Krishna not, or other? Not my test. Acha. That no, I, I like this. I am offering according to your taste, your feeling. I offer. My God, good. But this is a high, high level. <laughs> Here in the West, we are cooking, and uh, it is a, a not so much according to their taste. I know. We are there. According to the no taste. If I'm vegan, I will give my vegan food to you. <laughs> According to my taste, you have to eat. It's it is devotion or not devotion? No, it's not so expert. Uh, I would no, say it's expert, a religion. No, I think that this is not a devotion. Yeah, even that, my God. It is not a devotion. According to my taste. I went to Japan. I now understand that I will, I can eat in Japan. And really, uh, Mirdula helped me to go with me Hong Kong and Japan. But what I surprised when I go to Jananda Ji place, Kalavati cooks so nice. So nice that I say to Mandela, I like to eat better than your hand. Galavat. <laughs> <laughs> My God, good! If she say this, and it has a deep meaning. Well, I say you, she is really Anapurna. She cooks with a full of taste. Wow! Don't know how Jananda is eating. Whole life eats Jananda. Cook of Kalavat, so that the is that the she has a feeling of what Krishna like to offer that beautiful varieties. This is the speciality I find. It. Totally Indian twist. Nice. Right, Jananda ji. I like means it is surprising for me. Yes, good day. <laughs> Actually, good day. So <laughs> she was preparing. Many hours. It takes many hours. I would say, why you, why you prepare so so, you know, why you take so much time for preparing? But she, no, 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 no. I need for this preparation. You know, <laughs> like uh, she's completely observe for for pleasure of you. And Muridora, 
Mabi and Lalu. No, no. The thing is this, uh, that she don't want help of others. She want to do everything with her hands. Yes. This is the surprising. Many, many people are there, but she want to do everything herself. And so tasteful, I cannot imagine. I never eat this test. Is really if I know I am going for a long time there. <laughs> and not seven days was less for me. No, good day. So good. <laughs> and I cannot get done. And I don't know she do this. I never no, first time I know. So, really, this is the gift we receive from Krishna devotion. You see this Prabhupada? All Prabhupada's mission is based on Prashant. And the best prasad you can go to eat in this one. Because Prabhupada, he understands the Krishna's prasad can work only to me and to change us. Because this is not Krishna prasad, Radharani will eat, and this way, automatic. Unknowingly, love will go to my children. <laughs> Radhika only eat Krishna, and we eat only the Guru Prasad, and Guru cannot eat without Radharani reverence. When uh, Adramit of Radhika, Guru will take. It was hidden, Prabhupada gave us. Hidden, any place, any place I know see where Radha Krishna is not there. I never see any place where Nitai God is not there. Why Nitai God? Because Nitai. One place I am listening, Balram is only Krishna brother. Lakshman is only Ram brother. But Nithai is more special. <laughs> because he is Krishna brother and Radha's sister, like Anang Bhajan. Nitai, Nitai. So Nitai, without Nitai, we cannot understand God. We will only see Krishna there. If we have no shelter of Nitai, we will see Krishna God. And when Nitai Mercy, you see, Raghunath Goswami, he went three times to Mahaprabhu, two times, three times. And Mahaprabhu refunded him back, you are not, it's not a right time to come and stay with me. Right? And when Nitai punished him, that you have to distribute, you want to go to Mahaprabhu without me. Means you want to know Gaura, Radha Krishna without Guru Kripa. You cannot go know, and so punishment he gives. 
this is the teaching. We cannot possibly to go myself. And when he breaths, God never said go back. Then what he do? He gave to Sarup Damodar. What is Sarup Damodar? Like us. Now you say about Ra glories of Radhika. Laita will say only glories of Radhika, not Krishna. Because he is trying to search God. Then what? Satamot, huh? Who is trying to search God? Raghunath? Yes. Huh? In that time? Two times he learned. Because why Mahaprabhu he is going for? Why he said, do not, you are come. not time come for you. We are not qualified in this. So you want to say, Gurudev, with that, that he was still in the God consciousness at that point? Hundred percent he is showing. You are still in the Sadakya, Gurudev? Sadakya, and initiated with the Yadunanda Acharya. Kula Guru, this kind Kula, of thing. Kula Guru. So that means his Swarup was not awake in that time. <laughs> Why are you asking this? Where he got the soul? When the accession of Nitai comes, then mercy starts that time. Guru Kripa, then mercy starts. Then Gaur Kripa, Radha Rani Kripa, and Krishna Kripa. When Radha Kripa and Krishna Kripa happen, then they both say, go in the shelter of Sarup Damodar, Larita Gopi Take Gopi Vahav first. If the Gopi Vahav will not come with Larita Mercy, you cannot understand. Gopi Vahav is what? To identify your soul with Gopi Vahav. You start living in the soul consciousness, is a good one. <laughs> Gopi, how is not that, that you have to leave material body? You cannot. But it's a good luck. In this material body, I got Gopi, how? I can identify my soul. If you think for soul, you will forget in two seconds. But when you decide to be a Gopi Bhav, you will not want to go out. That is Bhav. Bhav means feeling. Feeling of Gopi is not a body. It's a feeling make your body. You start living automatic. Mind is energy. What is going from material thing? This mind will move only in this bhav, gopi bhav. So this way, mind is working only in this chitta bhav. Gopi bhav, gopi bhav, gopi bhav. Again, I come to my sadhak body. Something, some touch, again come to go go And so again I go out because my old practice in Sadhak there, man, male body. Then I see the difference between the male concept of go This way, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong happen. And then one day, with this mercy comes, then we want to stay longer there. And this, if it happened in this body, 
than this gopi bhav go back to god head back to god head that is back to god this gopi bhav is going back to god head my physical body not go my soul go out from this body and this soul is going back to god head in the that form of gopi which how we which relation i develop in my material body practice that moving to back to him. what is my practice what i will do if not then if i will practice like a, to go back to animal body we go to animal body what sadhana we do we get that done some sukriti come then we got human body so this all moves through the adramrita prasadam because this change our mind if not then my false ego is not leaving me and my material identification will not leave me i will stuck binded with the my nine how many senses 11 senses which sense man karmendriya and ganendriya false ego is holding me his identification will it exist when we identify my senses if not i identify senses my false ego cannot work even the lava puja pratishtha sukre vishtha why this different different varieties this false ego move to catch us but gopi bhav is the only protection that we can protect us gopi bhav the highest rishi maharshi praying to get that and that mahaprabhu give like and say to us in this whole career but it's amazing also gurudev that he got the manjari bath this kinkari bath he got only from uh, rupa goswami rupa manjari because because first you need sambandha relation gopi bhav no relation who give gopi bhav sarup damodar but he don't know to relate with that then mahaprabhu give gunja mala and govardhan sila hmm. right and he says to such this we have to research why he not to talk much himself because he give chance to research 
to Raghunath. Then he starts renouncing himself, that how much he can renounce. Then renouncing is also not, he was happy. Mahaprabhu was happy that he is doing, he is researching how to get it. But he not become happy. Right? And he went to go over then to jump out and kill himself because he's not finding up to that time. Right? Mm. See the life. After so much renouncing, he cannot find it. This is amazing. See the research is the research or not. Then what he do? You speak to Sanatan Nagaswami and then Sanatan stop it. Yes. He stopped he, him. He said, You don't know. Your body is very important to you. This body all mercy happened to you. And when this body you will lose, what you will do? This time you see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Mahaprabhu, you see the Sarup Damodha, you not understand because you have no Sambandha. You want to kill yourself. After Gopi Bhavya, um, Then, he first develops some manda. This is really <laughs> unbelievable, Guruji, because he was with Mahaprabhu, he was with all the devotees, still he had no some banda Of course, I understand it's a leela to teach us, because his life is so, so deep and so full of riches. We and are also very close with Prabhupada and many things, many margins. But how, what is my astar? What do you say? Level, level. Level to receive it. How much I am researching for that? Research. Mahaprabhu glorifies so much Jagannath Prasad and is taking the worst what animal cannot eat. After Prasad also, relation not happen without Kripa. No? This Kripa happened by Sanatan Goswami that your samanda is there with your gopi bhav. Then things start. Ista samanda, nam samanda, guru samanda. Then all guru who from A, from beginning to end are all he is glorifying all the time to from beginning to Jad because he got the Sambandha relation. If I have a relation, it can be physical or in Gopi Rao. If we are identifying physical, then we will search physical really. And if we un un identify my soul and the gopi bhav, then I will search his spiritual relation. You see the stages. Because he has a blessing of Sarup Damodha and Chaitanya, 
he is searching his gopi bhav mm. so where i am in gopi i am sakhi i am sachari i am manjari so i am kinkari what i am no there then rupa goswami give away there your body physical is also there is important for you but your avideha has to practice your spiritual body has to practice your gopi bhav has to move and he realized himself ragnath das goswami and he say that prem is for you mm. before was not for you then prem before was prem is the way for prayojan for the guru bhagwan is the guru krishna is the guru but raghunanda sanchar he research and find no 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 krishna is not a god to be always in the feeling is the goal to be in your sarup is the goal you are living in the gopi bhav is the goal bhav will increase rasa will automatic come there and rasa will want to increase his bhava bhav and rasa meeting is the radha krishna meeting here it is not physical meeting bha mahabhav and rasa when they meet and they feel separation and meeting is radha krishna then comes ananda and then manjari in our sthai bhav we relish that on and this the soch is is our senses to purify this sakyodan deloje why i talking i am a blind or you are blind anyone is blind no but gurudev give chakshudan he give the eyes janme janme prabhu se that is my real prabhu the real dibbe gyan is the prakashi dibbe gyan divine knowledge give me what is divine prem bhakti jahate avidya vinashate all avidya all is the all ignorance all philosophy is ignorance for gopi all is ignorance in motherly love you can you got love is ignorance and can you got lover mother bhav even is the ignorance is there in conjugal love all bhavs are there but he is not interested to the badalina sakha ras mane conjugal lover can give that feelings but sakha cannot enter in the kunja mother cannot want to go to the kunja is ignorance for that useless 
would have come to teach philosophy. He said, what you are talking? I am not interested in your talks. You have to learn from me, not I will learn from you. <laughs> this is the beauty. How rasa in your gopi bhav is there, other all is useless. Yeah. Our acharyas, we have to research here. Yeah. They are they are so beautiful. Rupa Ragunath. Rupa Ragunath Pade Hoibe Moras. Us means totally surrender to Rupa and Ragunath. Avidya and Pariyojan. Why not Sambandha? Are Sambandha will not there, you will not think of that. First is Sambandha. Then no Sambandha, one time Sambandha done. You don't need to carry that. You have automatic, it will carry you. Is a mallow. This mallow will carry you. Right or not? So you see the mallow? The singer sing, one mallow he catch, the whole song has to go that way. So somebody is he mallow will carry you. Your mallow will carry you whole life. Not one song. Your life is one song. My life is one song. It will carry us. Yes. Right, Jananda? Yes. <laughs> yes. Mallow is important. Mm. And mallow come by Sambandha. In a sky bow. And rhythm is, should be right. If the rhythm player is not right, mano will not come. Rhythm player has to be also intelligent to give right rhythm. Is not anything you play, you have to play in the same mano of rhythm. Rhythm mano goes together. <laughs> <coughs> rhythm is a tala. Tala, na? Betala mm -hmm. people not works. Be careful, betala. If you become betala, you cannot come to the tala. Means if you have a one time. Betala practice out of tune. Out of tune, you cannot come in that tune. Be careful, yeah. Sadhu Savdar. Pray Prayer always say, Sadhu Savdar. I said, Why he say? Really, Sadhu has to be Savdar. I see this. If I, yeah, we are not sadhu, why to bother? Centrally person, what do you say? <laughs> what do you write this? In the Gora Chandra, I find one, two lines very nice. What? Say. The saintly heart is exclusively uh, fixed in the beloved deity. Centrally heart only can fix. In beloved, if my heart is not sensitive, it cannot be fixed. Sadhus have that. Sensitive heart has to be fixed in beloved teaching. After Gopi Bhav, he wants to jump from Govardhan. 
read his past time. Our, uh, after association of Mahaprabhu and Lalita Sakhi, he renounced. But he not get more than that. <laughs> research. Our Acharya has to research. And why not to research Rupa and Raghunath? Our Gurudev research. Did you say after you read Vilapu Samanjali, you understand Chitane Chandra even? Yes, say that loudly. Yeah. Gurudev often is saying that now, after he's been reading Vilapu Samanjali and learning or reading, hearing about Manjari Bhav, he can now understand Chitane Chandra more clear. Before it was not clear to him when he was reading it alone by itself. But now, with reference to Vilapu Sumanjali and Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, he has a very... Only you want is that, to reach more Chaitanya Chaitanya. I only read two books. I don't know other books. Chaitanya Chaitanya Rupa Siksha, Sanatan Siksha. Gurudev. Uh -huh. So, can I little bit add something? Yeah, yeah, please. As, as my understanding, if we read only Chaitanya Charitamrita, then we, we may read only Sadaka Deha. Right. But if we read as, as Manjari, a Birapak Sumanjari or Radha Rasasdanidi. And then in the Swarupa Besha, if we lead Chaitanya Charitamrita, oh, 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 vision oh. will be different. Wow. That, that way I research and tell you. This is the thing I research this. I have no Swarupa wish, but little shadow. And the idea that you show me, so I say you research. Why I after we laugh with some mentally want to know Raghunath that's go show me like why because now is test coming to. Research, this is research. I see this German guy, Gaurachandra, is more than me elevated. Two, four, two lines he writes, he suggests me to write in temple. And I make it, mark to make it. This, your Japanese, half Japanese boy. <laughs> Why? What happened? I research what is happening to this guy. He was so out that he leave me after one week. What happened to him? What happened? He had a Japanese wife. She no understand anything. So he had to explain three hours more after listening to her. So she has a he has a big homework to go in, <laughs> and that is changing his life. Because without research and without going deep to realize it, how you will realize it? Mm. Now, sometimes he quoted so nicely things. I said, God, Chandra said to me, and he quoted like a word by word. This is I good. forget what he not forget. 
What? This is the good association, na? Association with Ratsika is a fortune. So, our Sambandha Gyan is the important, important thing in our life. After so much renouncement, he not get some bandhagya. You see this? Meeting with Chaitanya personally, Nityananda, he has no some bandhagya. This is what too is much mind blowing, Guruji. Huh? This my mind cannot uh, my mind cannot catch it. It's I in, it. theoretically I can understand that this his life is theoretical, like, theoretical not is a practical. See yeah, but part. how can it not how can Mahaprabhu not give Sambanda and Nityananda also give Mahaprabhu, right? Mahaprabhu so the Radha Rani. Radha yeah. Krishna there. But yeah. some is different thing. Sambandha is to offer to me. Are you make Sambandha with your husband, your efforts are there. It's not happening like this. I see Gaura Chandra, Sambandha to Japanese girl, Ras Madhuri, who has no two languages, and he cannot talk in half an hour. He said, I, I need one day rest. And now he don't need rest. <laughs> Three hours he's explaining that subject. <coughs> Why? Because of the loving relation. And he's, he's a grasta. He's not a sannyasi or renowned person. But he's increased more now than before. He was, he was brahmachari, that time he was not growing. Now he's growing. He realized it, Sambandha. He's more with Radha Mohan than us. And one thing more, he was living here, but his istadev is fixed. From his mouth you listen. So he has a great Shakti inside him. Really? Listen from his mouth. Great Shakti he got from the Istadev. You know not this guy. I think all Germans know this. And Japanese people, devotees also know him. Yes, see? Yeah, it's what to say, difficult to say something now. Yeah, we have to realize ourselves. And as Gurudev said, it's really helpful or necessary to do our homework. And it's a kind of mercy coming to me that I am pushed into homework hmm. because I have to explain to Rasa Madhuri and she is such a blessing for me because she wants to listen, she wants to understand and I have really to think deep about every subject and also try to explain in a simple way not make complicated ideas, try to explain like to a child no? who don't understand elevated language. Mm. So that is really very helpful. But three hours would be the goal. It's <laughs> <laughs> not three hours. I have also some limitations. <laughs> Sweet. So, I listened now many times about this uh, life of Raghunath Das Goswami and it's really 
It's beautiful showing for us also the way of development, the different levels we go through or we have to go through. Of course, Raguna is the Nitya, is the eternal associate of Mahaprabhu and Radha Dasi, Tulasi Manjari, but they do in this Leela on this earth and Gona Leela for teaching us and he going to everything. He has the initial guru, Yarunandana Acharya, who set him free from material life that he can search more for his spiritual life and goal to realize himself. And he feel attraction to Mahaprabhu, but he has no understanding who Mahaprabhu deeply is. So he tried to approach him, but <laughs> Mahaprabhu, he sent him back sometimes. And then he got the mercy of Nita at first, of Guru. After that, he could go to Mahaprabhu. And Mahaprabhu also not directly teaching him. He said, you are now with Swami Damora. He will teach you about Radharani. Mm -hmm. It's like reading first the glories of Radharani in Sri Sri Radha Rasa Sudhani. And after that, then he meeting finally the Rupa Goswami. And he follow his guru, no? he become his guru, and he start practicing what his guru is practicing. So he realizes uh, Swarup as a true Lassi Manjari by following Rupa Manjari. So there are so many levels of stages of his development that is really uh, beautiful to research that, and Guru Dev spoke so Beautiful about that. It's really mind blowing, as Suniti said. It's really amazing to see that. And the subject was Prashad today in the beginning, and I was thinking that Prabhupada he established for the general public Prashad distribution and Kirtan. So when we see the, the prasad, we have to engage the senses, our senses, to connect with the divine, with Radha Moha. So by honoring prasad, they are all the senses, they are somehow engaged, no? You can see the beautiful prasad, and you can smell it, and you can touch it, and you can taste it. And even you can make sound while eating or squeezing the rasgulla or cracking the tapa down. Their sound is also involved, but sound coming more by the kirtan. No? So Prabhupada give that, that we are, can engage our senses and connect. And then this is the beginning and this is also the end of our spiritual life. To relish the prasad of Radha Mohan and to sing their glories. We start with that. This is the way and this is also the goal. We should, I should more honor the prasad in that way because sometimes we, we take prasad, we eat, no? but I think more feeling can come when we really think about what is the meaning. It's also said that we are not eating the prasad. Prasad is eating us. <laughs> Purifies us, our heart. Jaiho, thank you very much. Hey, what, what you write there? In a temple. Yeah, listen. We were reading 
Bhaktivinoda's Babaji commentary, and Gurudev mentioned there are two important centers you want to make a board in the temple. Radhika, she did already, and there's two boards, and one is that Krishna stole the mood and complexion of Radharani to become Goranga. This is the first. And the second is that a saintly heart is exclusively fixed in the beloved deity. This left side of Radha Mohan and right side of Radha Mohan, there are these two gods now where you can remember why you are going for Dasha, what you are doing here in front of Radha Mohan. Yes. Who is your Ishta Dev? My Ishta, <laughs> my Ishta Dev is uh, Thakti Palan and Jamda. You see, living here is Dev is there, but Nista is there. You know, four years Seva he do Patit Palan, Radha Patit Palan. He say Patit Palan because he feel. Himself patit. So he said patit bhavan, radha patit I relish the mood of being. <laughs> you see? Really. Uh, what is Arni? He gave to Gopinath for Seva. Before I do something, and now with my Dasa Madhuri, we doing continuously. Both are doing. Thank you so much. <laughs> So, Ra, it's, Ras Madhuri don't know Patit Bhava. She is in love with Radha Mohan and he is in love with Patit Bhava. You see, both are like this. You can see. Jananda, your baby condition is this. He said, why not Radha Mohan? Ras Madhuri said. I said, no, no, my Patit Bhava. So, like this, their love fixed one point. This is history. Samanda is there. All is work through the prasada, right? Mercy. Love goes through the stomach, we say in German. Liebe geht durch den Magen. Yeah, read more. Just come yes. and say it. Should I continue to read the last yeah, one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shri Radhika does not relish the eatables. You see? <laughs> She relishes the nectar of Krishna's lips. Yeah, yeah, oh. So <laughs> I, I inspired to say before that mm -hmm. this was the Mahaprabhu mood. Radhika means ra ra Chaitanya. Radhika means Chaitanya. She is Krishna conscious. She is Krishna conscious. <laughs> we are not. Radhika is a Krishna conscious. Why Prabhupada say Krishna conscious? Because her uh, Mahaprabhupada is today is Radhika. He only glorifies his uh, Radhika. So she he is telling, we have to be Krishna conscious, like he didn't leave. Who is Krishna conscious? Radha. Right or not? This is the research or not? 
Why is a Krishna consciousness? Because you know that Radhika is Krishna consciousness. Mm. One day you will research and research and research. The moment you will come to that, you will be understanding. Because when Chaitanya will say you, many will confuse you, but your heart will accept this. <laughs> Radhika is Krishna conscious. We are not conscious. We cannot be a conscious like Radhika that we eat, we will see the food, a terrible things. But she is looking to. What? Read again this line? Sri Radhika does not relish the eatables. She relishes the nectar of Krishna's lips while what? her mind is absorbed in remembering her extraordinary pastimes with him. Yeah, this is the beauty. This is a secret. <laughs> if you research and understand, then you are a Then the waves will start coming and it will start flowing <laughs> in your gopi bhav. Same mode. In your asthai bhav, you will search, what is my asthai bhav in gopi? You will never try to leave that. You want to be Sakha, you want to be a mother, you want to be Radhika Das. Because we have to follow some Krishna conscious. I have to take shelter of who is the very conscious with Krishna to learn that consciousness. Right or not? Go on. I know she what they put in. I want to see other what they are working. I want to watch them. Uh, yeah, you have to always feeling. press this button. Uh, understand? Clear to all? Thank you. I like to see all of you because I can feel by your face and eyes uh, you are understanding or not. Yeah. I have a question already. Yeah. Come more close. He has a question. I have one question. So, Radharani, he only accepts the prasad from Krishna. She only eats remnants of Krishna. So when we are offering the bog, we are offering to Radha Mohan, or we offering to Krishna, and he will share with Radha. How? What is the meditation of offering in our swarup? He's a very personal, <laughs> actually. Sometimes Krishna gave in the mouth of Radhika and then he eat. He also tried to take that. Radhika, first he gave to the mouth of Radhika and then he eat. So it's a close. Because what past time will happen today, nobody knows. <laughs> but Radhika also wants to eat his slavana mouth. <laughs> but he also likes to do that. Because 
he said, Radha is my guru. And I am his. What is Bangla? You remember? Radha Ami Prema Guru. Radha Amar Prema Guru. Ami Shishyanath. Ami Shishyanath. Yeah. So Guru, first you have to offer to Guru, right or not? Or you will give to your prasad to Guru. Eh? Radhika Amar Prema Guru. Then he offers. In the mouth of when this bhav comes to Krishna, she gives to in the mouth of Radhika. So is the door closed? So bhav is the main important which bhav they are today. Sometime Radha Mohan become big and try to boom, boom, near to the Radha Radha. Every day some pastime happening. One day was a Chandra Grahan, whole day he no eat anything. Next day he was very slim. Like he is not eating from one month. <laughs> very slim. I see what happened. Same day, huh? same day in the evening. That's the same day. So like the this. Rain or the huh? sun, there was the eclipse. The eclipse. And we are not eating. The temple was closed. The temple was closed from morning to evening. The temple was closed. And Mohan become slim. Very slim. You see that or not? No. So many past times is happening. But that vision has to be developed. So we are offering to them and what they do, who keep whom first, this is up to them always. They are business. We cannot see this. Their exchange of love. We offer our love to him and they exchange their love. So we put the curtain when we do. <laughs> Today what their exchange feeling, we don't. Radhika Amar Prema Guru Sri Ami Sitchanata Je Motan Nachai Oye Motan Nachi How he want to make me dance, I dance like that. Chaitan Chaitan will explain this. Yeah. Yeah, read. Yeah. The last sentence is nectar. Beautiful. She relishes, yes, uh, Ude. Repeat that what you read. Yes. She Radhika does not relish the eatables what she eats. She relishes the nectar of Krishna's lips while her mind is absorbed in remembering her extraordinary pastimes with him. Wow, extraordinary. Yeah. In the Kunja pastimes, she directly relishes this lip nectar. Wow. How in the Kunja pastime, she directly no formalities, more no formalities. But only Manjari can see that. Ada cannot qualify to go near the Nikunya. Even Sakti cannot go. 
ਸਾਚਾਰੀ ਕੈਨਟ ਗੋ ਹਾਂ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਕੁੰਜਾ ਪਾਸ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਸ਼ੀ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਲੀ ਰੈਲਿਸ਼ਸ ਹਿਸ ਸਲਿਪ ਨੈਕਟਰ ਹਾਊ many hundreds of loving moods doesn't she express through her eyes and her face then yeah <laughs> now you understand krishna is first eating or radha is first eating if you have in seen nick never than a point you can feel see this <laughs> she is feeding him good if you said this huh they are feeding he also. is he give her leave to his yes. yes she is feeding him and he is feeding her <laughs> yeah she is feeding him and he is feeding her after mm, yes. after radhe <laughs> <laughs> radhe now you said this that how it goes only manjari can visualize this mm for sakhi they will see different sachari will see different kinkari will see different according to the uh, mood as i how as mm-hmm. my consciousness mood i see that if there is no bhav i see different way sada way sada ka dia sada ka dia so is all depend upon my bhav what is as i in me we can see because i depend on mercy yes depend on us today that's what all, is, yeah that's all see, see one thing again yes say about that yes it listens Raghunath Baba will say something. Radhe Radhe Ochu Kerala. Wow. To see you also happy and so enthusiastic is so nice. Radhe Radhe. So, there's different moods in a person. And Krishna Krishna a uh, he's we have we have different different uh, focuses in life and uh, and Krishna he's very much enchanted and he's an enchanter and he gives rasa so when there is the rasa the deep rasa and the exchange with mahabhav there is an exchange then there comes ananda for the mancharis the an- because they feel this and this depends on mercy so the the mancharis they see in radha mercy sweetness and affection the shakis they feel sweetness and affection and krishna he sees only the sweetness of radha so that means the mancharis are very fortunate because they the only ones who do depend on mercy that's why they are the real viewers they get everything revealed sweetness when you see only sweetness what will happen you will enjoy you want to enjoy because he is the supreme enjoyer right so he wants to enjoy he thinks about enjoyment so the shakis if you see their their attitude 
they see also the affection, the exchange in between Radha and themselves and the sweetness. But there's still some personal interest because the Shakis, they all also want to re relate with Mohan, with Krishna. But the Mancharis, they only, they are Adik Sneha, they are Radhik Sneha, Radhika Sneha. They only want her through the mercy, <laughs> the affection and sweetness. That is the reason why it's so beautiful to be in Manchari mm -hmm. Because we depend on mercy. We depend on mercy. We depend on the Kripa Siddhas, not on the Nitya Siddhas. Nitya Siddha means you have to qualify. You have to be some, somebody. You have to develop. You have to have knowledge, all these things. But now, Kripa Siddhas is mercy. You only need intense desire. And then you get the mercy, and then you can view, and then you can see. Otherwise, it's not possible. You cannot view in, a, in another state. You, you have to get that mercy to feel it. And this is so beautiful. This was just, um, I mean, I'm a parrot. I'm repeating this, and I feel it very deep in my heart. It's like this. We depend only on mercy. And we only need an intense desire. That's it. By hook or by crook, we get it. Back, borrow, or steal. That is the meaning of it. You want to have something? You want to have it? Okay, back, borrow, or steal. But you want to have it. That's important. By hook or by crook means whatever happened, I get it. So that is a determination. That is real nishta. So it is so beautiful. This is the today <laughs> so, realization. And he is telling two things. He missed one thing he forget in power. <laughs> I add this. What is a doer? He said ten times to me. Doer and viewer. You want to be a doer or viewer? Okay. You want to do her. Yeah. Then you need sadhak there. And if you want to be here, you need your gopi bhav. Because mercy, then why you do? You are a viewer. You have to see the mercy. You have to view it. If you know view, you know see this, how you will wave, will flow. You are a doer. Right, Maharaj? I add your words. <laughs> he said ten times to me. He said, listen, you are a doer. You are a doer. You are a doer. I said, what is the meaning of doer and doer? He said, doer means you have to be in your body conscious. And viewer means you have to be in your Soul consciousness. View in your sorrow. Yeah. I repeat his word, not my addition. <laughs> okay, good. If only you have two more sentences, if you allow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, this is the deep. In the last paragraph, every word is very deep. Mm. Be careful. <laughs> Only I have to explain two last paragraph. In, in start first paragraph and two last paragraphs. Mm. Yeah. Go on. Tulasi. Carefully feeds Swamini because she knows. That she experiences Shyama Sundara's presence in the dishes. You see, this is the beauty of Tulsi, Raghunath Das Goswami. She knows that Shyama Sundara is present here also. Because the closeness of Radhika. Her feeling is very attached 
because of the coming from the lips of Shams. She feeds Swamini according to the part-time flavors she makes her relish. Wow. She knows uh, how much and what to give, give that she has to relish after that. She not give only sweet, sweet, sweet varieties of sweet. She mm -hmm. knows she needs sour, sweet, salty, spicy. Oh, she knows how much balance to give. Paliyari. So that is the past time. She needs some sour pastime, some sweet pastime, again salty pastime, then again chilly pastimes, all she knows, and she likes to rewind it. <laughs> yeah. This is the beauty. <laughs> Swamini is mad with love for Krishna. Uh, so, is it really easy to serve her? Not easy. <laughs> not easy to serve without cake, dasi, manjari. When Lord Chaitanya, who was greedy after the ecstatic love of Sri Krishna, relished this pastime in the Gambira, he stared at Swarup Damodar and Ramananda Roy's faces and said, Where have you brought me? Who is standing? Radhika is standing. Where are you brought? Me? How many wonderful feelings he expressed through his face and his eyes. Swarup and Ramananda Roy understood the Lord's mind and helped him to relish these pastimes. Wow. See that. So beautiful. After Vilap Kasum Anjali or Radhara Sudhanidhi, if you understand, you will mad with Chaitanya Chaitanya. If you have a little love for Jesus, little love for Jesus, and if you understand Radha Krishna deeply, you will only see the beauty of Jesus every moment. Because you are clear in love. How loves move. It not moves with the books, it moves with the feelings. Understand? It not moves with the books. It moves with your realization, with your feelings, where your deep love can show you the love. Yeah. So good if, if we are the Jesus uh, lover, then we see in Radha and Krishna how divine love and the uh, the enjoyer of standing Radha Krishna, you will never understand Jesus. You will understand only lines of Bible, and you cannot relate him. Only the you, only the subject of the conflict will happen. But when it, the, everyone is searching love. If he's a motherly love, friendly love, 
a conjugal love. There are some limitation of love, but you have to see the highest limit of love. Then you understand all the loves. Highest limitation of love, Mahabhava is showing you. The goddess of love can show you. And to, to, to the beauty of Radha and Krishna, if you want to know, is uh, Chaitanya is showing. Books are not showing, philosophy will not show you. Ross will block your head more. <coughs> you will fix with the ritual uh, philosophy and you will block your bhav feeling. You cannot go throughout. Then that is the point. The feeling is the goal of your life to grow, mm. or your life to grow without relation to God. Then no problem. When you have a feeling and love, and to share that one, then you have to forget all other subjects. It's all for blocking. All is from love. Mm -hmm. I see this. Sri Radha. 